I am Anak Verhoeven. I am a rock climber focused on outdoor climbing. I stopped competing a little while ago because I really enjoy being in nature and climbing on rock. We are in my garden, our garden, <laughs> in Belgium. This guy used to be our caravan in which we lived for uh, the first years of my life. Oh, and that is a caravan too. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Here I turned four. And it's also when I started climbing, so. Learning to figure off a knot. And then the, the my first route. Le leading, leading. Leading her route. Leading. First route at four years old. I started climbing thanks to my parents, who were both climbers already at the moment I was born. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Wim Verhoeven, and I'm the father of Anna. Well, she started climbing at a very early age, so we had to pull her off the rock, you know. And then at, uh, I think at the age of 11, um, she started climbing more and realizing, I can do this. She started taking it serious and training and having the results like climbing better, but also uh, winning competitions, and the story started. Once I started competing in the World Cup circuit, um, there was no coach for um, the part of Belgium we live in, so uh, there was no one to accompany me to the comps. And uh, that's where my mom stepped in. This is my mom. Hello. <laughs> some people say I look more like my dad, some say I look more like my mom. What do you think? We were, yes, this uh, mother-daughter team, um, a very special situation. And um, my dad became my trainer pretty early on. Yeah, I became her coach and trainer uh, because we had no other option. In Belgium, we had no no team, um, let alone trainers or physiotherapists or whatever. So step by step, we had to do everything ourselves. So welcome, this is my training shed. The official name is Bullethock. This is where I can climb. I'm waiting a few seconds. I go around three seconds before I take the next hold. I call it lock-offs. <sighs> this is the goal, getting pumped. That makes you stronger. Being an athlete and having my father as my trainer was something special and, and pretty unique. People kept telling us that it wouldn't last, but yeah, that turned out not to be true. To be a top athlete, you need a certain character, I think. And everything she was doing, like 100%. She is a really hard worker. <laughs> That's what she did as a child already. She would work to climb good, and she started winning one competition after another. And that, that motivated her a lot. It was the three of us right after I had won the European Championships, 2017. My first World Youth Championships that was Edinburgh, Scotland, with my dad. It has been a beautiful um, relationship over the years. Of course, I can't say that things have always gone smoothly because we are humans. But the reason that we have been able to keep working together is forgiveness. Father in heaven, we thank you for this beautiful summer day. I don't know how God uh, works, I mean, and I believed, I think you have to ask her early in her life that God existed and then it was up to her to make a choice. Do I want to live with God or do I just live my way the way I like to live it? Thank you. My parents have always told me about their faith, but it's not something I have just inherited or copied. It's full of struggles. Uh, Jesus never promised that life would be easy. 
This is a room in the attic of her house and it started off with one hangboard and then we added some things like these bars. This was an idea my dad had. We can move it from like, this is 16 millimeters. Super easy. Pretty often I'm like, oh wow. I couldn't do that with my pulley. It was the last thing I was allowed to do again. Up to 2017, I had never been injured. But then in September of that year, my right arm started bothering me and it only got worse over the course of the years that followed. I visited plenty of physiotherapists, doctors, surgeons, hospitals, <laughs> um, all these specialists and that lasted for three and a half years in total. In 2018, I stopped in the middle of the competition season and then in 2020, I had a pulley rupture one of the most feared injuries <laughs> in the climbers world. It was tough mentally, of course, as it is with every injury, but then I tried to accept the situation, the reality of being injured, and I tried to see every day as a day closer to the moment I would climb again. My goal was to come back and, and try ninth grade routes. After my pulley was more or less healed, I started thinking about my arm again, <laughs> and I contacted yet another physiotherapist. I told my story yet again, <laughs> and uh, this time, can you believe it? Um, this rehab program did work. Now that I'm getting a bit older, it becomes more and more special to spend time with my dad. I've been able to climb and send most of my projects just because he was willing to put in the time. Watching her on a competition is very stressful, but belaying her on a big send, it's even more stressful. He has spent hours and hours just standing there patiently belaying me because I often need a lot of time to figure out beta, especially as a female climber. When you're projecting a route that hasn't been climbed by a girl before, you just don't know if you're gonna be able to, first of all, do all the moves. It might be just a matter of not being strong enough and then you could say, okay, I will train for it and come back. But it might also just be a matter uh, of size and height um, and being a female climber. So yes, there is this moment where you need to decide, do I abandon the project or do I keep going? Do I um, persevere? She's going until the very end, always also in training. Take doesn't exist. Block me doesn't exist. Other holds don't exist. You climb until you fall. Well, since 2021, um, I've been climbing more and more on rock. The cool thing about Oliana is just the fact that there are so many lines to try. Um, and then the length of the crack as well. I love long routes with very little rests. My last trip to Oliana, which was at the end of 2021, was a nice one. I did Josita, a 9A there, and I climbed Esclata Masters in Perles, which is not that far away from Oliana. I've just sent Jungfrau Marathon, a 9A in Gimmelwald, here in Switzerland. A beautiful route, I enjoyed it very much. Um, not super long, but with a boulder in the middle, uh, which I will have to climb again now that I'm projecting another route, which has the same start, same bouldery crux, and then traverses to the right. So, and that one is called Inferno. So, I'm now a full-time outdoor climber, and um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about my choice, the decision to stop competing. 
it wasn't easy to quit the competition world, but I don't have any regrets because there are just so many challenges on rock. She's always been a rock climber and always been yeah, torn between two lovers. <laughs> rock climbing, competition climbing. Um, so, and at one point she made that decision. Um, after 10 years competition climbing, said, that, okay, that's it now, I stop. It feels amazing to be able to try hard things. Um, I still feel my right arm a little though. Um, I need to constantly stretch it and do strengthening exercises. Um, I'll probably have to keep doing that for the rest of my career, but I'm just super happy just to be able to hang up there and, and use my body to the fullest. <laughs>